Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Sir Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Campbell River Ties versus the White Horse Mustangs. Live from Chilliwack Coliseum in beautiful Chilliwack, British Columbia, this is the U18 Rep Tournament. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you've clicked on this video and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get into some rep hockey. Green, right in front of our eyes, it's the Campbell River Ties. They're sporting those orange jerseys with white and black trim, and they have Duplain in between the pipes for them. And on the other end, right in front of our very eyes, it's the White Horse Mustangs wearing those sharp black with red and white trim, and they have Moon Mooney in between the pipes for them. What's up to Plain and what's up Mooney? Green, this is a U18 rep tournament, tier three. It's hosted by Chilliwack. I'm excited. Uh, we've never seen either of these teams no, before. So, uh, I mean, rep hockey is awesome, especially when it's tournament time, Dude, Green. I love it. Man. Green, I want to take a second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your names or call you the wrong number. It happens. It happens, man. We're not perfect. And right off of the bat, it looks like we're getting a too many men call. Oh, uh, that's not good to start the game. We didn't even have time to finish the introduction before uh, White Horse gets sent to the box. Oh, man. They're not going to like that. No, but those ones are tough, man. Like, too many men. We don't slow those ones down. But, nope. I mean, they're unfortunate when they happen, Green. Doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes it does. So let's jump into the action oh! here with the huge hit out front oh, by man. Campbell River. He just got smoked. Are they going to give him a penalty for that? I think so. They're head saying contact. head contact. We're going to run it back and see exactly where the contact was made. Let's have a look at this. It looks like it is number 15, there. Sanchez, who rocks the White Horse Mustangs player. I don't know if that I would call that head contact, man. It looked chest to thing, but the like... When they separated, they kind of brought their hands up, but it wasn't actually head contact. Uh, either way, he's going to have to go sit he's for that. Sit, though. That was a big hit to start this game off. This is how the Campbell River Ties are looking. They're looking to set the pace Ooh. as Duplain has to be sharp with number 12, Bassnet, firing pucks at him. I am so stoked for this game, brother. I have a feeling it's going to get aggressive and violent Ooh, and fun. Speaking of violence, number 7, Yancey. Just gave him a cross check as uh, Baldwin has a puck for the White Horse Mustangs. Bald horse, or sorry, Baldwin, <laughs> bald horse. <laughs> the horse is bald. We <laughs> said we mess up names. Uh, we're gonna mess up all your names. I cannot wait to do it. As Underhill has a puck, Whoa. lets it go. I don't know if that went off the post or what happened. Green. It was almost a sneaky little one. Gets it right back to the point, right to Baldwin. Alec Baldwin lets it go, trying to make a movie, but he can't uh, get behind Duplain as the White Horse Mustangs are working that puck as well as the Campbell River Ties right there. A little bit of physicality, Green. Uh, number 12, Bassnet has a puck for the White Horse Mustangs. Bassnet drops it off oh. to Underhill. Underhill lets it go. Puck goes through the crease all the way to the other side as Sanchez tips the puck out of their zone. But it's Baldwin who collects the puck for the Mustangs. Baldwin having a look, fires it right to number 19, Bassard, who feeds it to King. But it's the Thais who back it right back down. King regains possession of the puck for the White Horse Mustangs. King looking for Baldwin. Um, Got to get that puck over that stick. Great job by Sanchez out there. Yeah, very good. He's staying all over the puck. He is. Uh, number nine, Watson gets taken down by Underhill. And it looks like the referee's got his arm up. And that one looks like a penalty to me. It's going to be a hook. It is, Green. It is indeed. And we're going to run it back so we can see exactly where the hook is. It is right there as he's hooking them all in his hip area. Yep. Drags him down. And that one's a clear-cut penalty for Underhill. Going in the box. Going to the sin bin. That's where he's going. He's going to detention to do his homework, Green. <laughs> Uh, back in the action, Underhill for the Mustangs. Nice work by number nine, Hutchinson of the Ties. Poke that oh. puck away. Another big hit down low. Uh, wow, look at that, Green. Almost got the one-timer off, too. Very, very close. There is a lot of names for the Campbell River Ties on their roster. I'm looking at the whiteboard in front of me. It goes all the way down, so it takes me a second to try to scan the names. It's like Green. they have 100 players on the team. Right? I don't know what's going on. Their bench is very full. Um, I mean, that's a good thing, though. Yeah, if anybody gets hurt, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Which in these games are so violent, people always get hurt. Uh, they do, Green. It can happen. It is hockey. Uh, number 17, Cooper's battle in 23. Sherrard, um, Whitehorse Mustangs get it right back out. They let it go. Have a shot. And Duplain sees that one through traffic and gets the whistle. Shocking, man, that he got his glove on that with all that traffic in front of him. He did Sanchez right back to number him. 11, Karan. Karan uh, loses the puck to number 6, Lovelace. Battle ensues down low as King gets away with the puck for the Mustangs. Oh! And there's a big high elbow 
Ooh, to the head it looks like, Green. Yeah, that could have almost been a charging. And the ball, that was an elbow yep. right to the dome. Number two, Underhill got his elbow up high. There's no call on the play. If you were going to call a head contact, that would be it right there. That would have been it as more bodies go to the ground, Green. UAT rep hockey is a thing of beauty to watch. It's great. It's fantastic. High energy, man. I love it. High energy, lots of contact. Um, I mean... I mean, we love contact hockey. We do, we do. Clean contact, yeah. obviously. Um, yeah, big fans of it, Green. Number two, Underhill going to chase the puck. Gets hit by Broussard. Or, yeah, Broussard. There it is. Again, these names. There's so many of them, Green. <laughs> when you call a team that you've never seen before, it's not it's the tough. easiest. We get it, used to calling people because we see them so much. It's easy if you're a parent for a team and you know the team, but yep. then most likely those parents aren't calling the other team as well. They're just biased yes, so sir. to call both teams it's, it's not an easy task green oh, we do our nice best speed. here at sally entertainment as duplain is also doing his best and he gets the whistle for the campbell river ties way to stop that play the campbell river ties are a very physical team i'm noticing green yeah they're both i mean they're both really physical they are they it's are been crazy um here we go right to number 55 adams adams has a puck to the near side Right back to uh, looking for Adams, but 77, Lang throws a body, gets that puck back to Adams. Adams lets it go, and it looks like there's a player down on the ice for the Campbell River Ties as the White Horse Mustangs, Lang is checking on him, but uh, the referee's not blowing the whistle down for whatever reason. Down. I don't understand that, Green. Um, the Campbell River Ties get the puck out of their zone, though. Ties in the neutral zone. Number seven, Yancey has a puck, gains his zone. Yancey lets it go, and Mooney has to be sharp with that one. Yeah, he did. I don't know why there wasn't a whistle now. The player was down for so long. Doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, we're back in the action as play <laughs> continues. Green, number six, Lovelace has a puck getting checked by 11. Karan as the puck gets out. Uh, great work by number three, nice LaPointe, to hold that puck in. Sanchez gets it right over. Nice shot by wow. Spooner, and Mooney gets the glove on it. These goalies are just standing up right now. They are, Green. That's why it is 0-0, zero, because zero, the goaltenders are, in fact, doing their job. Yes, sir. <laughs> they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, stopping pucks in that net. Uh, oh, man, oh. a hit by Broussard on number 11, Coran, as the White Horse Mustangs. Baldwin gets away with the puck. Baldwin throws it just wide of the net. Uh, White Horse Mustangs pick it right back up, throw to the near side, 19. Oh. Broussard, there's a hit, but it didn't affect him. He bounced right back up. Yep. And another hit down low, and another oh, one. Man. Broussard comes in like a wrecking ball, like he's Miley Cyrus, Green. Head contact. He came in like a wrecking, wrecking ball. ball. <laughs> And we're gonna have Control to this head right into the board. Here's a first hit by Sanchez. Didn't huge. even affect Broussard. Watch this right here. Boom. Broussard comes right back after taking yep. a hit. Went up a little high, I guess. 11 was the victim, Coran, and Broussard's going to have to go sit in the box. He had his hands up in his face. I saw it. There you go, Green. You've seen it. We're not going to argue it. Uh, nice shot by number 11, Coran, just wide as the Mustangs pick it right back up. Mustangs throw it all the I way back down, but they're killing a penalty, Oh, yeah, Green. right. Forgot. Sorry. <laughs> it just happened. Uh, <laughs> we did this. Okay. LaPointe Le has the puck in his own zone. Nice work wow. by 12. Uh, Bassnet. Bassnet lets it go. And a kick pad saved by Duplain. Good job by him to get that puck. Great man. work by Bassnet. He's digging. He's digging. He knocks the puck loose. He scoops it away from Yancey. Throws it towards the net. And uh, Duplain has to be really sharp with that yeah. kick pad. If he wasn't ready for that, that was going Ooh, in. That was crazy. That just shows you you have to be alert, on high alert at all times if you're a goaltender. Well, stuff when, like, especially when p play, puck's going this fast. Man. Well, when the puck's in your own zone. Yes, exactly. Bassett has a shot. Nice save nice by save. Duplain. Easily snagged green. And we want to take a second to thank the Chilliwack uh, organizers for bringing us out to this tournament. 100%. And that's the end of the first period. It's all tied up at zeros apiece. Wow. If you've made it this far and you still haven't already, Hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get back into some rep hockey. Back into the action at the U18 Rep Tournament, hosted by Chilliwack. The second period of uh, three periods, possibly overtime. I don't know how it works. I think this is yeah, round. I don't know either. I think this is round robin, so there's probably not any overtime until you get to the right. medal game. Final, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's all tied up here, Green. Great work by the goaltenders. Great work by both teams so far. Hard battles, hard hits. I'm excited, Green. I'm liking what I'm seeing in front of my eyes here at the Chilliwack Coliseum. The hits have been huge, and I love it. I love it, too. As Broussard oh. gets away with the puck. Broussard for the White Horse. And look at that huge save by Duplain. Yeah, man. Wow. How many times have we heard Duplain's name tonight? Uh, the White Horse Mustangs are just oh. they're galloping along quite finely here, Green. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> They're galloping along. Oh, man, and Duplain just throws a blocker as a little extra present. Dude, that was a huge save one. A massive save as the point going to give chase. There's a little bit of contact there. Um, Campbell River Ties get that puck away. Number 20, Ariza uh, to number 11, Karan. Karan making moves. Karan uses oh. it all right up front. Great defensive work by Nash yes. to be there to take that puck away as Underhill eats oh. a body by Riaza. Again, I apologize if I'm messing up your names. It's going to happen. I'm going to mess up all your names. <laughs> uh, Russell feeds it to the assistant captain to get it right back out. Nice poke by 11. Karan. Karan on that puck. Throws it oh, out nice. front. But Adams has that great defensive yes. work. Whoa. And there's a big hit right there, Green. Dude, he just gets so much. Just boom. 15 on 15 crime. Sanchez takes the king down. He just... <laughs> Took the castle over, Green. <laughs> he took the castle over. Underhill on the backhand goes falling down, and um, Puck is out, kept in by the White Horse Mustangs. From the point number 17, Cooper lets it rip. Uh, Adams there to hold the zone. Number 15, King whacking away at 13, going in. Uh, looks like there's a change going on, but Adams has the puck. Ooh, couldn't get the release off. He could not. Spooner there all up in the mix, gives it to 14. Blanco. Um, it's just a big scramble right here in the neutral zone, Green. Yeah, it's all caught up in their feet, man. They can't get their stick on it. I'm caught up. Caught up in uh, your feet. <laughs> Adams with the puck. Adams looking for an outlet, oh. but it's intercepted by the Campbell River Thais, who lose the handle as number 15. Sanchez whacks away at it, and it looks <laughs> like he shot that puck in <laughs> right Riazza's shorts. Uh, shorts. Right up his pant leg. He got caught there. Um, that might, might have stunned Green, but he didn't show it. So that's all right. Back to the action. Sagoin lets it go right off for the crossbar. Didn't go out of play, though. I thought that one went yeah, up I and thought out. it hit the mesh. So did I. I guess it didn't. As uh, the battle continues, Green 77. Lang gives it right out front. Oh, and Kid Duplain has been the center of attention here in this hockey game, he's it feels good. like. He's good. It feels like he's had a lot more action than Mooney has. Well, we're going to find out right now. The Mustangs have been doing things. Oh, oh what a hit by Whoa. number two, Underhill. And uh, they did not like that, Green. Holy cow, he just smokes him. Look, he lost the handle a little bit. That's number 19, Draper. Lost the handle to six, Lovelace. And look at that oh. massive hit by Underhill on Lovelace. There is no love felt right there. And it was clean, too. It looks like there might be a different name on the back of Lovelace's jersey, so that might not even be his name. I don't know. We're just going off the online roster. They shouldn't have been upset about that hit. It was clean, man. It was. It was a really nice hit, Woo. and that's why there is no penalty on the play, Green. Yeah, it was awesome. Back in the action. Underhill with the puck for the Campbell River Ties. Throw it all the way out. Nice work by Mooney to get a stick on that. A 17 Cooper battling down low on the near side. Cooper gets it to Underhill for the Mustangs. Mustangs galloping out of their zone. Uh, just falls down Bassinet. Bassinet gets right back up. He's backed up by Watson. But it's uh, number nine, Hutchinson. Oh, Hutchinson gets rocked by Bassinet. Campbell River Ties have the puck number seven. Yancey. Yancey. Uh, oh. oh, just dodges a hit right there. <laughs> Did he ever just dodge it? And the Mustangs continuing on. Kerr with the nice shot. Duplain has to make another save. Another big save, too. Duplain is the star of the game in my eyes so far, Green. And this is non-biased commentary. No. We are from North Delta. We don't know any of these teams. We're just a couple commentators calling what we see. And we see Duplain making save after save. Yeah, which means uh, the Mustangs are getting a lot of pucks on net, so good for them. They're playing fantastic, Green. The Mustangs, it's all pressure right now. The Campbell River Ties need to start getting more shots on net, um, even though it's a 0-0 game. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's just what I see. That's what I analyze, Green. We do this a lot, and we're dust. Uh, back in the <laughs> action. Underhill gains the zone of the Campbell River Ties. Underhill lets it go to the near side, bounces off of the corner, collected by Watson, who takes a little bit of a hit by number seven as uh, Ty. Uh, Underhill oh. lets it go. Underhill scores for the White House Mustangs, and they finally crack the code of Duplain. Finally. Holy cow. This kid's been on fire. That he has, Green. He has indeed. What a goal by Underhill. We got to watch his back, man. It came off a big rebound here. Mustangs come to the zone, take a shot, dump it out in the corner. Who picks it up? Number nine? Yeah, number nine, Watson, who eats a body. Puck gets to Baldwin. Baldwin oh. lets it go. Initial pad save by Duplain. Underhill, a little drag move, goes right under the glove yep. of Duplain. A beautiful play by the White Horse Mustang. It was a perfect little shot. 
It was fantastic, Green. Uh, they deserve that one. They've been digging all game, trying to open up the scoring. They haven't been able to do it until now. Now they're on the board. One to nothing. White Horse Mustangs over the Campbell River Ties with seven minutes and 51 seconds left to go in the second period. What an insanely good game. But if you've never seen a Sally game, which a lot of these kids probably haven't, don't take time into consideration. This is a compact highlight reel. Yep. We cut out all that boring back and forth, and we try to make it pure action and entertainment, kind of like TSN and 30 if you ever watch a Jays game, except ours is specifically directed towards the edited video. This is live, oh. live commentary. It's not chopped up, so it's uh, something unique that no one's ever done before. Yeah, Green. we're sitting up here in the booth right now, breaking it down quickly. Uh, exactly. We're live in the booth right now, <laughs> and the whistle on the play is going to be an icing call, it looks like. Looked like it. Back in the action, the Campbell River tie is trying to let it go, but it hits a body as number two. Underhill throws it all the way back down. Number seven, oh, Yancey collects it, it right out front, and the Campbell River tie tie up the game. Yes, all sir. thanks to it looks like number 18, Harrison. I saw that coming as soon as it went out front, man. It was a perfect little dish around to him. Great work by Harrison and the Campbell River Ties right in the slot. Watch this, right off for the faceoff. It looks like that was Harrison who won the draw too. Great work by Underhill to keep that puck in the zone and he fires it okay, all right the way here. back down. Yancey feeds it right here, Green. Have a look at Harrison. Boom, backhand. Yep. Yeah, those backhands are really hard to stop if you're a goalie because you never know exactly where they're going to go. Once they leave the stick on the backhand, anything can happen. we just seen it go in the net, Green. Yep, the goalie had good position on him too. It just when he did the backhand, he went far corner right he did far corner kept it low a beauty a Campbell move. River Ties one White Horse Mustangs one it's all tied up Woo. here in the second let's go we got ourselves a game the opening game in the U18 rep tournament green I'm liking it so far at least it's the opening game here at Sally Entertainment for us I can't wait to see the rest I believe there's 10 of them that we're gonna see as they unfold green we're just in the start of this tournament I'm really excited to check out the rest of the games um, I mean U18 rep hockey what more it's can you best. ask for it's the best uh, hosted by Chilliwack brought to you by Chilliwack <laughs> Back in the action, Whitehorse Mustangs, the assistant captain, fires it to the far side as they're making moves in their own zone, trying to get that puck out, some sort of a breakout, and they finally do. The race is on, a galloping Mustang, Whoa! a tie. -E. The stick gets chopped out of his hand, but actually it wasn't chopped, it was lifted, yeah. and there's a trip. So there's going to be no penalty there's on the play. There's going to be no call on it, man. There might, there should have been a call on that trip, though, uh, as the Whitehorse Mustangs race to number Whoa! nine, and nice number move. nine of the Whitehorse Mustangs, Watson Burry. It. Dude, that was a sick shot by Watson right there. What a goal by the White Horse Mustangs. They didn't like that the Campbell Rivers tied it up. They want to be in the lead. They just went back to what they were doing before, leading the game. They got on their horses, man. Now look at that. Uh, Bassnet, he just stick lifted him, so that's not a penalty. That's not a penalty. Uh, right there could have been a penalty. Yep. Underhill tripped, tripped him. Uh, but it doesn't look like I don't know if there is a penalty or not because it is, I don't think uh, Dude, Thais touched right the here. puck. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Right out front to Bang. Watson. What an apple. What a goal. What a play. Dude, the goalie couldn't do nothing there. Underhill with the apple. Number 21. Underhill with the goal. What? No, no. Nine got the goal. Oh, sorry. Watson, Watson got, got the, the goal. goal. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the whiteboard. I'm all confused. <laughs> Two to one. The White Horse Mustangs over the Campbell River Thais. <laughs> We do make mistakes all up the here. time. We showcase that uh, we're only human, Green. Dude. A lot of these people who do stuff think that they're perfect. We're the exact opposite. Uh, we're just a couple. Oh, he whiffed on it. A couple dusty humans. Here we go. Um, play continues on as number fifty-five Adams throws a puck held in by a Thais. A puck skips across the neutrals or the uh, crease neutral zone. Man, <laughs> neutral I can't, zone's way out of the zone. I can't now. gather myself now, Green. I'm all messed up. <laughs> it's okay. I had a, oh, I had I a, ru I had a rough one last night with a couple non alkies in the, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ooh, nice shot. Great save by Duplain. Yeah, wow. Got him right in the body, too. He did indeed, Green, as Sigoyan has the puck. Sigoyan trying to find number seven, uh, Noonhurst. Puck gets out to the tape. Nice blocker saved by Duplain as the Campbell River Ties trying to throw it out of their zone. Uh, they finally do as they have numbers, Green. The puck's skipping along. It's number seven, Yancey. That's Yancey. A slash. There it is. There it is indeed, Green. And there is a whistle on the play. How could you miss that? You can't. We could can hear it all the way up here. You could. Uh, sound travels when you're up Listen high in the Chilliwack Whack. Coliseum. Boom. 17. Cooper is going to have to go for slashing. See you later, Cooper. Yeah. Coop. Coop, big coop. Big coop in the box. Big coop. 
That's a penalty. You Back in the action. Draper for the Campbell River Ties gains his own. Draper lets it go wide of the net as the White Horse Mustangs on the back end. Ooh, almost had a too many men. Almost. To touch that. Good thing no one touched that puck. LaPointe going to collect the puck in his own zone. LaPointe, nice work by Draper to give it right back to Seven Yancey. Seven Yancey on the far side gains his own of the White Horse Mustangs. Yancey looking for someone. Uh, he was looking for Draper, but Draper wasn't in front. Yancey again battling as the Mustangs got away with the puck now. Mustangs trying to throw it out, and they do, but it lines up on Koopstick. The, must, the penalty must be over, Green. That's how fast yep. it works here at Sally Entertainment on these highlight reels. Nothing must have uh, oh, blue tire happened. Yep. The boards. He needs to go uh, plug that tire. He's got a hole in it now as the uh, White Horse Mustangs get away with the puck. Mustangs fire it right back to Coop. Coop lets it go high, uh, wide, held in by number eight, Nash. Nash lets it go. Nice blocker save by Duplain. Looks like uh, that was... Is I it just me or did this game get a lot less physical? Uh, well, they must be tired, Green. They, they got to be. I mean, uh, you can only throw the body that many times before you're like, oh, you know what, let's... Uh, Play the puck more. I notice a lot watching a lot of hockey that a lot of the major hits happen in the beginning of the game. Always. That's when they're energetic. And then as the hockey games go on, they start to be more like this, Green. Everybody comes out to prove a point. Number four! Baldwin lets it go. A big save by Duplain as the Mustangs now have the ties hemmed in their zone. Um, number 18, Strand. Strand lets it go. Nice save by Duplain. Puck goes out to the near side. Great work by the ties. Yeah, they're doing well, man. Duplain's just man yes i'd like to see the shots on net on him right now yes 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 i'm sure it's high the mustangs have just been putting pucks on him like crazy they really have it has been a mustang sally right here green mustang sally they got the horses out trotting around everybody and that's the end of the second period two to one the mustangs over the ties so far if you've made it this far and you still have it hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up and let's get back to some rep hockey. Here we are at the U18 rep tournament hosted by Chilliwack. The third and final period in this hockey game because I don't believe there's any overtime until you get to the medal games. As number two, Underhill oh, for the Campbell River Ties. Underhill making moves, has a shot, can't get that puck behind Duplain. Almost though, man. Good for him to pull it all the way in. Great work by Underhill, but it couldn't get past the netminder, Green, as Whitehorse gets that puck out. Bassnet, Bassnet throws it just wide as the puck bounces behind the net and goes to the far side boards. Number nine, Watson going to collect it, but it's uh, 16 Spooner who, Spooner who gets there first. Underhill fires that puck all the way up, and it's in the neutral zone right now. Whitehorse gets it and tries to backhand it all the way back down, and it's back and forth, Green. It's just all over the place right now. These guys got to slow the puck down and get some control of it. Trading possession of the puck is the two teams, Campbell River Ties and the White Horse Mustangs, as the White Horse Mustangs are in their own zone, having a look. Oh, no. oh spent too much time right up oh, front. Wow. And number 15, Sanchez gets his first of the night and ties it up for the Campbell River Ties. They wasted no time capitalizing on that mistake right there. Well, keep, speaking of wasting time, Green, that's exactly how this goal happened. And we're we're gonna run it back yeah and you can have a closer look at it and analyze right here number 18 strand feeds it over to i Sits think that's number long. eight nash and nash he took too much time he just spun around passed it blindly i think he was oh. looking for number 18 strand but it doesn't matter because sanchez capitalized on that opportunity sanchez just put that deep upstairs too like in the attic it was great so apple high. by yancey yeah it was great. Uh, great work overall by the Campbell River Ties. They just tied it up here with nine minutes left to go in the third green. He took advantage of a mistake. Campbell River Ties in the neutral zone. Backhand it back into the White Horse Mustang zone. Mustang stop it. Mooney waiting for his player to get it. And oh man, a little bit of a reverse hit by number 17, Coop. As uh, now the bodies are starting now to the fly again, Green. Again. Uh, looks like they got a little bit of energy. They re-energized. They charged up the rechargeable batteries, and they're back in action <laughs> as White Horse Mustangs gain the zone of the ties. The puck makes it, but uh, it's uh, Duplain who makes the save. They were all doing smelling salts on the bench. Hey, you got to wake up somehow, Green. As uh, ooh, puck right out front, number 16 Spooner throws it to the far side, but it's held in by six. Lovelace, Lovelace battling the Thais. Thais trying to get it out of their zone. Puck lands on number something. I think that was 23, sure, our stick. I don't know, Green. I can't see as uh, the White Horse Mustangs can't clear the zone. Thais hold it in. Mustangs. 55, Adams has the puck on the near side in the corner. Adams looking for an outlet again, held in wow. by the Cattle oh. River Ties. Tipped off a Parker's stick, <laughs> and he can't believe it. Dude, that could have been dangerous for the goalie. As he was hanging his head like, man, why didn't I? 
He's Score. got a nice tip on it. <laughs> he did. He did. It was a little light, but he got it. Thais have really picked it up, they eh? They have Underhill. Underhill now making moves. Look at that. Andrew oh, Kevin Sean it. snipes it. What a snipe by Underhill. Right after I just said they started picking it up, they get another, they sink another one, man. They sure did. They picked that one up, up and put it right in the back behind Ooh. Mooney. What a shot, too. Look at this. Right off of the faceoff, it's number 17, uh, Coop. Throws it all the way back around. Held him by Underhill. Spins away from uh, nice danger. Move. Look at that edge work. And spins oh. around. Fires it. Snipes it. Top corner. It looked even better in slow motion. They usually do, Green. <laughs> they usually do. What a snipe. Wow. A beauty goal by Underhill. And the Campbell River Ties have taken the lead for the first time here tonight in this hockey yes, game. Yes, sir. This game has taken a full turnaround. It really has, Green. It has been all Mustangs yeah. for the majority in the first two periods. And uh, boom, just like that. Ties just stepped up, man. They were like, we've had enough of this. They did. They Put did. these horses in the barn. I mean, they've had chances and stuff, oh, too, yeah. but it's just the Mustangs that have been the dominating team so far in time on attack that yep. we can see. Just shots on net period, right? Exactly. As the Mustangs are still testing Duplain, they're doing the right thing. They're throwing pucks on net green. Uh, they got to continue on doing that, and who knows? Maybe they'll tie it up. Maybe they won't. This is live here at the Chilliwack Coliseum, so we don't know what's going to happen. We shall find out. We shall indeed. A as few moments later. Coop in the neutral zone uh, gives a puck up to Sanchez. Sanchez lets oh! it go, and the there is an empty net, and the Thais have just taken a two-goal lead thanks to Sanchez. Oh, my God. I don't. I can't believe they pulled the goalie. Well, time was ticking down, yeah. Green. Uh, it must have been. Last time we had a look at the clock, it was six minutes. But being that it's a highlight reel, not much must have happened. So, uh, yeah, what do you do, man? Dude, I didn't even see him skate off. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the puck bomb around. Yeah, yeah, me too. I mean, this is live. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> four to two of them. Thais have come back just like that, Green. Crazy game. Oh, man, a couple of hits down Whoa. below. They didn't like that. Throw a fist. Is Underhill is looking for Big Coop. Big Coop on the far side. Chips it right back down. Uh, Underhill there hot in the mix in the ocean trying to attack. But it's Blanco who uh, doesn't. Have the puck. Oh, we Watson! Watson spins around and labels that one for the White Horse Mustangs. <laughs> oh my god, this game is insane, dude. Watson just popped that bottle he right got, off the net. That's his second of the goal, too, Green. Dude, that was awesome. Look, Look at, at Watson didn't even have a stick. No, Watson lost his stick. Yeah. He, he took a hit from Parker. He didn't like that. He shoved it back. Now watch this. 21 underhill feeds at the far side to Big Coop. Big Coop throws it right back down low to number 12, Bassnet. Uh, the Thais throw it, number 14, Blanco, gives it up right there. Watson just spins around, his skates wobble, and he lets it go. That's a top shelf snipe. <laughs> oh, dude, he popped that bottle, baby. He did what the Camel Rivers player, I think uh, Underhill did from the other team. Dude, this is crazy. This game is nuts. Back and forth, and the Whitehorse Mustangs are within one right now with 26 seconds left I'd to go. Pull the goalie. Pull the goalie. Pull the goalie. The goalie's probably already pulled, Green. I don't <laughs> see how it could be um white horse mustangs loses the puck it's a big battle right now in the campbell river zone white horse mustangs trying to make something happen bodies oh, that was a cross check bodies line. out front are flying underhill throws it towards the net number 12 on the doorstep the ties clear the zone they throw it all the way back oh, down it it. and just misses the empty net oh we got how much time we got left in this man probably a couple seconds green I'm a couple seconds goes by and that's the end of the oh, game oh my god four to three the campbell river ties over the white horse <laughs> mustangs in a phenomenal game dude it was insane it was so good what a game to open up this u18 rep tournament hosted by chilliwack if i was a parent in the stands i would have been pacing back and forth to this game. I hope that everyone got their money's worth for this one because yes, it was a sir. barn burner, Woo! Green. My nails are all chewed. I didn't know what was going to happen. Fantastic game between these two teams. Really enjoyed that one, Green. Thank you and good night from Chilliwack Coliseum. Like and subscribe. Thanks for having us out.